Across a wide road in Manila's biggest park, a bus stood still for almost 11 hours. Inside and all around it unfolded a high-voltage hostage drama. A sack top cop demanded his job back or threatened to kill the men, women and kids held hostage. All of them tourists from 4 to 70 years of age. Crack commandos surrounded the bus but struggled to storm it. For a moment, their actions looked clumsy as if they had no plan. But at last they moved in, shooting the errant former cop in the head to end the crisis. Moments after the talks between hostage taker, senior police inspector Ronaldo Mendoza broke down. The Manila police surrounded the bus. Armed with assault rifles, pistols and a sledgehammer, the special action team first tried to break open the main door of the bus. They failed. They then used the sledgehammer to break the windscreen. Having failed, the police tied a rope around the door and used a small pickup truck to yank it off the hinges. That mission did not succeed completely either. Moments earlier, the bus driver had managed to escape from the bus. He'd screamed, everyone on board is dead. At 5.30 p.m. Indian time, the special team managed to open the rear emergency exit and briefly entered the bus. Suddenly, there was gunfire. The police team retreated. There was another round of gunfire moments later, perhaps a burst fire from the M16 assault rifle that the hostage taker was carrying. All the curtains were drawn, the assault team could not look inside. Seconds later, more gunfire was heard. Local channels reported a civilian bystander was injured. At 5.45 p.m. India time, an ambulance rushed in. The special action team, sniper and commandos fired inside the bus. And around 6.15 p.m. India time, police announced the armed hostage taker, former police inspector Mendoza, had been killed. He had been shot through the head. At least four hostages walked out of the bus alive. Some others had to be carried to the hospital on stretchers. Bureau report, headlines today. Senior inspector Ronaldo Mendoza was once regarded as Philippines' finest. But the top cop lost track getting into extortion and drug trade. He was shunted out and today he turned out to get back to get even. Brandishing an automatic M16 rifle, he hijacked a tourist bus this morning. Here's what followed. Ten thirty am Manila, Philippines. An armed police inspector in uniform stops a bus and asks for a lift. Moments later, police are informed that this Hong Thai tourist bus with 22 tourists from Hong Kong on board has been taken hostage. The hostage taker is Ronaldo Mendoza, a disgruntled former senior police inspector sacked from the Filipino police force in 2008 on extortion charges and drug-related criminal charges. This was his way of demanding reinstatement. The bus was then parked in downtown Manila. Yung ating suspect, si... Uh, Police Senior Inspector Rolando Del, Rosar Del Rosario Mendoza uh, Meron siyang in stage More or less 20 persons na, na nasa Hong Thai uh, bus company So basically uh, Tatlong Filipino and uh, 22 Hong Kong Nationals yung yung nasa nasa loob ng bus Soon police sharpshooters were positioned around the bus Negotiations with the hostage taker began Scared faces speak cautiously out of the bus window Hours after seizing the bus Two women, three children, a diabetic man and three Filipinos including two photographers were released by the hijacker but he held on to his demand to get his job back to free the rest. The deadline fixed by the hijacker ran out. A handwritten note in bold letters warning of a big deal after 3 p.m. was posted on the bus's glass door. 11 hours later, talks with the negotiators broke down. Suddenly, the bus driver came running out of the bus screaming that everyone on board had been killed. 
the police then moved in for the final assault.